A Canadian parliamentary committee has voted unanimously to urge the border services agencies to stop the deportation of nearly 700 Indian students who were duped by unscrupulous education consultants in India to enter the country with fraudulent college admission letters. The Indian students, mostly from Punjab, have been protesting the move to deport them. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar meanwhile has said that the Indian mission is in touch with the Canadian side to resolve this matter. In the biggest immigration scam of Punjab, according to the state government, close to 700 Indian students in Canada facing the risk of deportation. Canadian authorities say these students got visas on the basis of fake admission letters. Students from Canada's Brampton say they have been given less than a month's time to leave Canada. The life of all the international students is at stake. The few students are coming in front. The many organizations did their, did their, they did their uh, uh, research and uh, surveys. They found 50, 60 students. But some people, some students, they are suffering in silence. We have all the proofs. We have all the arguments, facts. So we, which can prove us innocent, right? But still, the students, the, but still, the students are getting deportation dates. You know how how expensive is the study in Canada? Their their families, they they put their uh, whole life saving um, in this to finance the uh, education in the, here in Canada. So that's the, that's the main thing. We have to do something. They are the big colleges for which we got the you know offer letters at first. Even a normal student can ch change the college here. The only thing is we changed the college. We went to another college. We completed our studies over there. Everything is normal in our files. It's just four years later, they are saying this. The Indian External Affairs Minister assured help in coordination with the Canadian Prime Minister. While it's still not clear how many alleged fraud cases are genuine. If there were people who misled them, the people who misled them, the culpable parties should be acted against. It is unfair to punish a student who undertook their education uh, in good faith. You know, if a student has done no wrong, they accept the idea that, uh, you know, they have to find some uh, solution for it. So we will continue to press and uh, I would very much hope that the Canadian system uh, is, is fair. Uh, yeah, in that regard. Our focus is on identifying the culprits, not penalizing the victims. Victims of fraud will have an opportunity to demonstrate their situation and present evidence to support their case. While the Canadian Prime Minister, the local MP, Mayor and Councillor have come out in support, these students say there is no real help from the Canadian government yet. Close to 2 lakh students from India go to Canada every year for higher studies. But as Indian students dream for international exposure, these stories highlight how their dreams make them vulnerable to frauds. And at the end, they're left helpless in a foreign country that was once their path to realize their dreams. Priyanshi Sharma for NDTV.